Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea, you know how I feel River running free, you know how I feel Blossom on a tree, you know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com where you'll find over 200 free acoustic guitar lessons. And I am playing today my weird version of Feeling Good. Originally, Nina Simone, obviously the absolute classic. Muse did a revamp of it um, probably about seven, eight years ago now. And uh, even Michael Buble, I think, has done this as well. It's a classic song and a song that doesn't really transfer over too well to the acoustic guitar. Um, but I've made a version here with uh, my student, Sean, that um, I think is really nice. And I really wanted to share with you guys in YouTube land because um, I think you'll dig it. Um, basically, I've tried to make it like I do a lot of my singing strum lessons. Um, I tried to make it kind of so you could sing it and it would like work with chords sort of campfire style -y, I suppose. Um, and it's kind of got three layers, which I'll be taking you through how to do. Now for my voice, I put a capo on the second fret. Um, if you're a female singer, you might want it higher. You might want no capo at all and sing the higher octave. Um, and if you've got a lower voice than me, you might want to take the capo off as well. Okay. So um, I'm going to be taking you through how to do this. There's a few chords we need to learn. A really cool finger style pattern with this kind of boom, dun, dun. I really love that bit. And, um, and then some strumming as well. So I'm gonna be showing you all that right now. Let's have a look and see how we do it. Just worth mentioning again, that even though I played it at the beginning of the lesson with a capo on the second, because that sounds better for my voice, I'm gonna teach it to you with no capo. If you have a capo, then you might wanna experiment with putting it in different places for your voice, but I'm gonna teach it to you with no capo for now, okay? If you wanna play along with my recording, capo on the second. Okay, we're going to need uh, a sequence of chords to learn this song. Not too many, but the ones that we need are probably not always kind of um, the ones that you come across all the time, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to teach you the chords. Uh, if you know these chords already, then I've included a um, text, piece of text in the video now telling you where to skip to to get started on learning the right hand and the rhythm. Um, so you can click to that now. If not, so he, here are the chords. It's E minor, E minor 7, C7, B7, D, G, and that's your lot. You're not going to need anything else. A minor 7 as well, if I haven't said that already. Okay, so let's get started with the first chord. I'm going to be showing you how to make them and the best way to change between them in any case. Middle and ring finger are going to press down the A string on the second fret and the D string on the second fret also. Now the strings, Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie, E, A, D, G, B, E. So we know what we're talking about. The frets, fret one, fret two, this is fret one here, fret two, fret three, fret four, so on and so forth. So you're pressing down that chord, making sure your fingers aren't collapsing, okay? With your thumb or your plectrum, if that's what you're deciding to use. Um, although that will make things harder later when we do the finger style. Strum, bottom, all six. Okay, that then changes to an E minor seven. Now, in the video, you'll see me doing it two ways. You can decide your way you wanna do it. The easiest way is just lift up the ring finger and leave the middle finger there. 
that's an E minor seven. Also, you can leave everything there and put your pinky on the third fret on the B string at the same time, okay? So you get that. You can do it either way. Next chord, C7. So we'll make a C as normal, index finger on the first fret on the B, middle finger on the second fret on the D, and ring finger on the third fret on the A, and then the pinky just gets tucked in on the third fret also on the G string, okay? And then that's we're strumming that down there. Okay, next chord is a B7. Now to change to that B7, just lift up this index finger like so, and move it down, this whole shape, so that's two, three, and three, move it down to the first fret on the guitar. So you're one on the D string, two on the A, and two also on the G, and then strum the bottom five also for that. So that's your B7. The other chords you're gonna need a little bit later are A minor seven, index finger on the first fret on the B, middle finger on the second fret on the D, and strum the bottom five. Another chord you'll need is a D, index finger on the second fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret on the E, ring finger on the third fret on the B, strum the bottom four. Okay, and finally a G, index finger on the second fret on the A, middle finger on the third fret on the E, ring finger on the third fret on the thinnest string, and strum all six for that chord. Okay, so that gives you what you've got so far. Next. So that is all the chords, I should say, to make that a little more coherent, <laughs> make more sense. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna go through the order and I'm gonna show you how to do verse one. So verse one is quite simple. All you really need to do is strum slowly and do the singing, okay? Now this song is in six, eight. So that means we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, then we change chord. So we're counting six in this one, all right? That's important. A lot of songs are in four, four, where we count one, two, three, four, one, two, but this one's in six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, change chord. So anyway, first chord, E minor. Da, da, da. Then change, E minor seven, if you wanna use your little finger or lift up the ring, up to you. That's the next chord. C7 is next, as I've already shown you. Here's your C, pinky underneath. You know how I... Then we're gonna to go to this B7, lift up the index, move this down. Feel. Okay, then we're gonna repeat that chord progression. E minor. E minor seven. C7, B7. This time, same as before to start with. E minor, E minor. Minor seven, A minor seven. So move your middle finger down one string to the second fret on the D and index finger on the first fret on the B. You know how I then to C seven feel. Okay, so that's a little different. Normally it's C seven to B seven after the E minor seven, but this time it's A minor seven, C seven. It's a E minor dawn. It's a D day. It's a G life for B7. Now you'll notice on this B7, I started doing more strums. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm feeling so B for me. And then you go A minor seven, sorry, my mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, B7. I'll do that again. So I'll go from it's a new day. So it's a it's a G life for B7. Then make an A minor seven, strum it six times down with the, with the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then to B7 as quickly as you can. And then stop, put your hand on the strings to rest to create that suspense. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. And I'm feeling. Then we're into a new part, okay? So that is our first section of three. Um, so that's verse one. Now, we're gonna start this. This is where kind of a bit of Muse influence comes in. Okay, so I'm going finger style with this. Making the E minor, thumb on the thickest string, index finger on the D string, 
and we're doing a pinch of those two. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking the knuckle of my fingers, um, which you can see here in the other camera, and I'm hitting the strings against the fretboard. Don't be scared to give your guitar a good old whack, all right? I mean, not obviously not stick your hand through it, but <laughs> give, it, give it a good old rap, all right? So we're gonna go pinch, rap. So like this, pinch, rap. Pinch is pulling two strings at the same time, by the way. Now this next change, we go pinch E minor, E minor again, then lift up the ring finger to um, ch change to E minor seven. Okay, so we go E minor, rap, E minor, E minor seven, rap. And then E minor seven again, then to, C. So you don't need the whole C for this. So, I mean, really it's a C7 in the chorus, but you can just use middle finger on the second fret on the D and ring finger on the third fret on the A. Pinching, thumb move down to the A string and index. Okay, so I'll go from the E minor, E minor, E minor seven, E minor seven C. Picking C again, then moving that down, just one fret and giving that a pinch. Okay, I'll go up to there. Okay, and then the little bass run lick, lift up the middle finger, leave the ring where it is, with your thumb, go thumb, index, thumb, index. So index is on the open D string. So if I go from this, back into, round in a circle. Okay, I'll do it nice and slowly. I, I think this bit is really awesome, so I wanna make sure you've got this, slowly. So we do it twice like that, and then the singing comes in, using exactly the same chord progression and, and lick. I'll tell you when to change. Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. E minor, river running free. C7, you know how I feel. Blossom on a tree. This time, move your middle finger down one fret to the D string. Pinch, thumb and index. Thumb on the A, index on the D. Play that. You know how I... So that's, we're gonna call that an A. You know how I... Back to C. Okay, so that's just like the third chord. You know how I feel. It's uh, playing the C again, so he's hopefully getting that rhythm by now. E minor dawn, it's uh, E minor again. D day, so this means middle finger on the G string on the second fret and pinching thumb on the D and index. Okay, so I'm gonna go from these chord changes, blossom on the tree, E minor, E minor seven, A minor seven, C, E minor dawn, D day, it's a G life. Next bit is a G, so ring finger on the third fret on the thickest string and pinching thumb, and index, you can put your middle in there as well if you want to get that sound, but I just go thumb and index. And that's going G to, to B7. And that pinch is thumb and index on the B7. So that's the part you'll probably need to practice the most if you're a beginner. Form A minor seven. B7, and I'm feeling. So that ending is the same as how we ended verse one, okay? So six A minor sevens, and I'm feeling. Then we're gonna strum the chords. Down, up, down, up, E minor seven, B, C seven, C seven. Another one, up, down, up, down. Seven. 
and C7 It's an E minor It's a D day It's a G live B7 4 Change rhythm A minor 7 B7 And I'm feeling good Thanks a lot for watching this lesson. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you like my t-shirt, it's from giddytees.co.uk. I really like this one, the Mona Lisa glitch it's called. Um, check the video description for a link to uh, their company. And um, I upload two new lessons every week. Always acoustic, always I like to think easy to follow. I always break things down slowly, show you the chords, show you the rhythm. There's some finger style lessons as well if that's your bag, both classical and uh, more sort of folk style. So see you over at the Learn Guitar in London website. And one last thing, hit subscribe if you like this style of tuition. Uh, as I said, I upload two new lessons every week. Keep on playing, have a great day. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life for me And I'm feeling good Fish in the sea, you know how I feel River running free, you know how I feel Blossom on a tree, you know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for Feeling good Dragonfly out in the sun You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies all having fun This old world is a new world and a bold world for me And I'm feeling good And I'm feeling